Detectives say those men use certain apps to go after children. So what are those apps and how do parents navigate them? Our David Spun joins us with the information he and other parents learned from a top security expert tonight. David. Yuki, good evening. That expert spoke for three hours tonight behind me here in Broomall. She said she could have gone longer. There was so much information. The parents that came out tonight, they said that after this bust in New Jersey, it made everything seem just that more real. These 24 men were allegedly lurking on social media, looking for vulnerable underage boys and girls to sexually assault. Hours after news broke that two dozen men, including a firefighter and officer, were arrested in a New Jersey sting operation, a sea of concerned parents gathered in Broomall, Pennsylvania, to learn how to protect their children in a cyber world. I don't understand how somebody that's supposed to be there to protect your children is using something like that to harm them. Jane Rogiani and her friend Nicole came to the Broomall meeting to learn about the latest in teenage social media trends. I don't know those apps, so, and I don't want my children to know something that I don't know. What I really started looking at. The speaker, nationally known cybersecurity investigator, Michelle Stewart. The moment you give that child that application or you give that child that phone or a tablet or a computer, you've placed your child into the world that I work in. And Stewart says the world can be scary. The New Jersey Sting focused on particular apps, Kick, Whisper, Grinder, and Scout. Learn how these apps work. Understand how predators can go into those applications and request a picture from your child because it's not difficult. And you can help stop with a little research, but do it soon, Stewart says, if you're concerned. Go to Google and put in parents guide for Snapchat, parents guide for Tinder, parents guide for, because there's guides out there that will specifically tell you what the application does, how to monitor the application, or how to secure that application for your child. And Stewart worked with the Governor's Office of Homeland Security here in Pennsylvania. I reached out to the companies representing those four apps mentioned in the New Jersey investigation, but Yuki and Jessica, I did not hear back. Reporting live tonight in Broomall, David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, David.